Hello everybody, Jeffrey Kruger here. First off, I want to say don't do anything that I'm showing you here. Everything I do is dangerous. So I'm just showing you this for entertainment purposes, how I attach a gem with dop wax to my stem that goes in my faceting machine to facet a beautiful gem. One thing you don't want to happen is in the course of fastening a beautiful gem that it comes loose and you have to start all over with your project. Anyways, that being said, I have this microscope light and this can. There's about 15 watts coming off that light and it's inducing some heat into that can. I have pre-shaped this gem and I've gone over the whole back of it with a diamond hone really gone over the back of it good so that it's roughed up and degreased very very important uh, a lot of gems are rough enough on the back and with degreasing will attach to a stem very nicely the way they are if it's a smooth surface such as a smooth or polished surface like that it will not attach to the gem or the stem, excuse me, very well. So and I have two clothespins here, and it's to keep the heat off my hands from the hot stem. And the, uh, this other one here is just to keep it straight when I put it down to cool. So that being said, my gem is warming up here. Now I can feel it; that's almost warm enough. It, it's, it's actually getting warm enough. You don't want to overheat your gem; you can destroy your gem. Another thing is your wax. You don't want to overheat your wax, have it start on fire, or burn it, or get it too hot, or the properties of the wax can be lost. Okay, what I'm doing right now is I have this propane torch, and I'm just heating this stem here. Let me heat it, and then I will notice, I'll put the corner of my wax on there, and I'll just touch it. And oh yeah, that's getting very, very hot now. Very hot. Okay, that's. I'm. Sh I'm very sure that it'll be. Yep, that's very hot. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to go any hotter than that. That's very nice. Now let me see if I can put this up where you see it here. I just want to touch that on there, nice. I want to fill that up. If I was using the other stem with a flat on it. That's okay if you get a little. This is kind of a fat piece. Very, very warm. I'm going to keep putting it on there until I see a little surface tension. There you go. A little surface tension there. Now I'm going to bring my gem to it. And I'm going to put it right on there like that. Make sure it's straight the way I want it straight. Just the way I want it. Okay, once I get that position right where I want it, it's very, very hot. Okay. That will cool. And once that cools, I won't be able to pull that off with my hands. And I'll, I'm confident that I will be able to facet that whole crown and uh, to the point of transferring to the other stem and doing the pavilion with no problems. If you want to see how to, once you're finished with the stone and you want to take it off the stem, there's a procedure um, when the stone is complete, that's always my favorite part, is you put it in the freezer for 15 minutes and then you pop the stone off and clean it and you get the finished stone in the light. It's beautiful. So go on my channel and look up Birth of a Ruby and you'll see what it was like pulling this off the stem for the first time after it was completed. So I hope you enjoyed this video and have an excellent day.